Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to Love and Relationship Readings for the sign of Taurus for July 2021. Something is telling me that you are very much ready now to work and develop a relationship to the next level. And something is getting completed, like a hurdle is getting over, something like that. It, it's... Uh, you are very mature and ready right now to take the next step and move to the next level. For some of you, it is ready and mature to start a new relationship. Some of you in the same relationship move to the next level. So let's get started with the reading by picking 10 cards for the Celtic Cross. And what we have here at the bottom of the deck is Eight of Cups. New opportunities opening up for you. But the humble request from the universe is go ahead and take up this new relationship or new level of the same relationship without carrying the old baggages. You don't have to carry the old baggages with you. And there is someone who is guiding through you and showing you what mistakes you have made in the past. It might not be easy to accept those mistakes, but uh, still this person will come and show you what you have been doing and how you have been doing and how you have uh, created your own pro set of problems in the relationship and you are going to overcome them. Initial uh, reaction to it be it would be difficult to accept it but then the moment you start understanding what is being shown to you you will be mature enough to take the next step so right now I feel that you are uh, trying very hard to accept few things and you are taking a route of self-isolation to make yourself understand Maybe some of you have anger, some of you have shame, some of you have guilt, but because of which you have taken self-isolation, but it it's okay to do that. And each one of us make mistakes. We are not perfect. Even gods and goddesses sometimes uh, try to hard to overcome ego and other kind of issues. So don't worry about it. You are just a human. What's crossing this uh, card is your actions. You are supposed to take the next step now and you are not able to take that step because you are isolating yourself, which is not good. In the past, you were acting very spontaneously without thinking. Sometimes it worked in your favor, sometimes it didn't work in your favor, and sometimes you actually created more problems than solutions. But now, what I'm seeing here is that you are more understanding. You are understanding how you are both part of the problem and the solution. You can create more solutions than creating more problems so you are understanding that how you can be instrumental in creating solutions so you are possibly going on the positive side from the negative side what's wrong with you there's so many code cards one two three four and this is the fifth one impulsive you possibly are quite confused or the people around you are trying to dominate you throughout this month uh, especially the social sector where uh, the there is night of wands which is talking about impulsiveness i somehow feel that people around you are more impulsive than you yourself are and you on the other hand are trying to calm yourself and uh, find a sober space where you can think and relax and 
think future course of action but the people around you are not letting you do that you need to move away from them that is a clear indication from the six of swords move away from the people who are adding on to anxiety in your life focus on ending so that you can start new beginnings now that's something that is very important this card has come back it it was flying out when we started the reading when i was shuffling the deck for you and it just had flown out and it's saying that focus on ending some kind of pattern in your behavior and focus on starting something new because there are new doorways opening for you to handle the same relationship in a new way or totally new relationship different for different people your fear is that you will lose all the love that you have for a certain someone in your eyes but that's your fear not reality so don't worry about it and then uh, listen to your inner voice because your inner voice has more empowerment and it's going to give you the right guidance your inner voice for some reason will give you a very clear cut picture of both the positive and negative side and of course uh, you are expected to take a middle path because overly positive can also be like attracting troubles and overly negative is like sending people away because nobody wants to be with negative person and if you're overly positive then yeah you unknowingly invite troubles so somewhere the inner voice is giving you both the extremes very clearly and you as a wise person don't have to choose both the extremes you have to find a middle path and start the new journey that's the outcome you are starting a new relationship in a more positive way so that's your reading for this month thank you so much for watching this video until next time bye bye and namaste